Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera Kita kembali ke dalam Dean Equal Project Channel Perpaduan Nusantara Hai guys, Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera, salam perpaduan, salam nusantara. Terima kasih sekali lagi hadir ke dalam channel saya iaitu channel Did Equal Crack. Terima kasih saudara saya yang berada di Malaysia, Indonesia, Filipina, Brunei, Thailand dan seluruh nusantara guys. Saya doakan anda sihat, sihat sejahtera dan dimurahkan rezeki. Guys. Hari ini guys, terlintas satu tajuk uh, daripada satu channel. Uh, uh, itu channel daripada uh, Sally Ghost guys. Saya rasa uh, beliau merupakan... Uh, individu yang berasal daripada Indonesia tetapi satu tajuk ini uh, agak menarik uh, fikiran saya dan juga pandangan saya iaitu this what make Malaysia different from Indonesia so saya rasa mungkin saya perlu react video ini mungkin uh, serba sedikit dapat memberikan sedikit uh, kefahaman tentang uh, perbezaan antara Malaysia dan juga Indonesia mungkin secara individu lah orangnya bagaimana ya Okay, tanpa membuang masa, ayuh kita tonton video daripada Sally Gauss ini, guys. Hi everyone, come on my channel, I'm Sally Gauss, your favorite channel girl. And today, I have an amazing friend here, right here with me. He's a Malay, finally. I'm not gonna differentiate people, okay? But then, a lot of people have been commenting, oh, do you only have Chinese friends in Malaysia? Mm -hmm. Good point, good point. people have been commenting uh, they say we want to hear perspectives from different races as well you know in Malaysia so here's for you guys can you introduce yourself first <laughs> hi everyone uh, my name is Izet I am a Malay in Malaysia mm -hmm. I'm Malaysian mm -hmm. nice to meet you all yeah <laughs> yeah um, how do we meet uh, we used to be classmates in English class, mm -hmm. public speaking class back uh -huh. in English. Oh, yeah. So mereka ni teman kuliah ya guys. Tapi bila saya 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 dengar uh, cara Sally bercakap dalam bahasa Inggeris, kalau saya tutup mata kan, cara dia ngomong dalam bahasa Inggeris ya, umpama umpama Chinese Malaysia, Tionghoa Malaysia guys. Betul bila saya tutup mata, nanti mungkin dia akan berbicara dalam bahasa Indonesia. Alright. Kita dengarkan uh, terus ya. From Malaysia, but where do you reside? I'm from Putrajaya here in Malaysia which mm -hmm. is Oh, ini orang Putrajaya guys mm -hmm. More or less in this language We are the administrative mm -hmm. capital of the country The administrative used to be in Kuala Lumpur, right? But then you guys moved it to Putrajaya like in 1990s? Yes, correct, yeah Yes, we got her city right there Yeah, uh, we moved here in the 90s You know what? We're gonna do the same thing But it's so far away It's gonna be in Borneo Have you heard about it? Yep Yeah. Nusantara ya. Yeah. Now I wanna test you. Sekarang saya berbicara dengan bahasa Indonesia baku. Paham mm. atau tidak? Paham. Paham. Aku ngomong pakai bahasa Indonesia ala Jakarta ngerti nggak? Ngerti. Oh. Oh. Eh? oh. <laughs> oh Oke. Okay. What was I saying? Now you're speaking bahasa Jakarta. Oh. Ngerti nggak? Yeah. Oh. Ngerti. Ngerti. <laughs> oh. Okay. But you guys don't use those terms, right? Erti means meaning in Malay, mm -hmm. so it's like when Erti, mm -hmm. you get, do you understand the meaning? Yeah. But do you guys use Ngerti? Mengerti. Mengerti. Not really, but we know what Erti is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dia dia begini kalau di dalam uh, mengerti kebiasaan kalau di dalam uh, uh, kalau kita ngobrol secara harian uh, di Malaysia kita tidak akan Ya, saya, saya mengerti apa yang kamu ngomongkan. Kita akan boleh cakap, ah, ah, saya faham, saya faham. Ah, dia, kita akan cakap, saya faham. Ah, kita tak akan cakap, ah, saya mengerti, tidak. Ah, kita akan cakap, kalau dalam, dalam bahasa Malaysia lah, eh, bahasa Melayu, eh, kita akan cakap, ah, ya, 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 faham, ya, faham lah, faham. Ah, kita tak akan cakap mengerti. Tapi, di dalam penulisan, mungkin kita akan gunakan ah, perkataan mengerti itu. Sedikitnya. Should I interview in, uh, interview you in Bahasa Indonesia and you, you reply me in Malay? Boleh? You get confused. <laughs> Boleh? Nanti I try. Nanti I oh, try. see. Oh. I punya Bahasa Melayu, siapa banyak dengan Bahasa Inggeris. Yeah. Why? Dekat Malaysia, orang tu cakap Bahasa Melayu, siapa dengan Inggeris. Dia tak ada macam, completely Bahasa Melayu. Yeah. Uh, 
Kalau kalau baku betul-betul baru dijadikan macam ni. Mostly Malaysia. Uh, I think uh, saudara yang uh, Izat ini uh, dia mungkin mungkin tidak uh, tidak kenal lagi ataupun uh, mungkin tidak ramai kawan-kawan dari Sabah, Sabah dan Sarawak. Uh, dia mostly tapi dia ini memang uh, memang asli ni Izat ni daripada Kuala Lumpur. Kebanyakan kalau orang daripada Kuala Lumpur Uh, perbicaraan harian itu memang ada bercampur-campur bahasa Inggeris guys uh, mungkin t- tidak tahulah mungkin kebiasaan begitu tetapi kalau jumpa dengan anak-anak Sarawak ya anak-anak Sarawak ataupun Sabah terus enggak ngomong bahasa Melayu ya memang ngomong ini ya bahasa bahasa dialek uh, Sarawak ataupun Sabah uh, kami pasti tidak akan tidak akan bercakap bahasa Melayu bila sampai kita bertemu dengan rakan-rakan daripada Sabah dan Sarawak. Sama-sama akan ngomong bahasa Sabah, Sabah itu akan keluar dialeknya, Sarawak juga akan keluar dialeknya. Tapi kalau di Semenanjung, kalau di Kuala Lumpur, yes, ini betul. Izat adalah penampilan yang menampilkan individu yang berasal daripada Kuala Lumpur dan inilah dia. Aslinya, guys. Ini ada satu contoh yang 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 sangat baik ini. Kalau kita nak mengenali mereka yang suka berbicara dalam bahasa Melayu bercampur dalam dengan bahasa Inggeris. Panjang masih lagi. Baku dalam berita ini. Dalam dalam berita atau orang yang memang bukan dari bandar sangat. Kalau dia daripada area yang rural sikit, ha, dia akan cakap bahasa Melayu je. Uh, how do I translate this? Because I wrote the questions in English. Pas ketemu pertama dengan aku. Mm-mm. Oh my god, the way I say things is so weird. <laughs> okay, I want to ask your first impression about me. Like, do you think I'm a foreigner? So, oh, I cannot lie. I cannot like mix mix language, like guys. <laughs> do you think I'm a foreigner or like I look like a local Malaysian? Pandangan kali pertama ya. Saya ingat awak. Right. It's like your mix is so hard. <laughs> IU, okay. I akan sebut IU, okay? Um, yes. Pada pandangan kali pertama, I ingat uh, you uh, Malaysian Chinese je. Uh. Tapi rupanya you Indonesian. Patutlah you punya benda banyak. You very mm. smiley. Because uh. Malaysians don't typically smile at strangers for no reason. Mm-hmm. You memang very smiley person. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Orang Indonesia memang suka senyum sih. Yeah. Kalau itu cuma per, itu perbedaan dia guys. Hmm. Itu perbedaan dia dengan orang Jakarta hmm. ataupun Indonesia. People just don't randomly smile at you. Mm-hmm. They will think you're weird. They will smile a lot. Smile <laughs> <laughs> okay. Talking, he's smiling. Since you told me I look Chinese, right? I mean, obviously, like anybody would tell me the same thing. Like uh, I look so Chinese. Do you know generally, like Chinese Indonesian speak? Indonesian on a day-to-day basis? Uh, tak. Oh. Uh, tak tahu. Saya ingat uh, orang Indonesia, even kalau Indonesian Chinese pun, mereka akan cakap bahasa China lah. Mm. Tapi, bila betul, betul. lebih banyak ekspos, kita mm. lagi dengan orang-orang Indonesia betul. yang Chinese, uh, Chinese dasar, rupanya orang tak cakap pun bahasa China. Orang betul. Tahu kalau tahu pun, sepatah dua kata dia tahu nah. bahasa China. Betul. Yeah. Waktu itu, I told you something or not, or how do you discover we don't really speak Chinese? I banyak berkawan dengan orang Indonesia daripada dekat US masa sambung diri dekat Iowa mm-hmm. State. Kat situ mm-hmm. ramai orang Indonesian yang Indonesian Chinese. Tapi orang tak panggil Indonesian Chinese macam dekat Tiong Ha. Just call them mm-hmm. Indonesian Indonesian. Yeah, true. Yeah. Let's say if a stranger asks me where are you from, ah, oh, Indonesia. That's all. Mm. But when I studied in Malaysia, it actually opened up my eyes because now I kind of know more about my roots. Mm-hmm. Because last time, I used to think that knowing it is not important at all, you know. So there's, I would say, a uh, positive and negative. <laughs> the negative part is that, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't really like to like put people in, in like a box, you know, in boxes. Like, you're what, you're what. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you were born like this so cannot choose right mm. one thing i noticed when i was in malaysia when you guys have to fill the form you have like the race mm. f- in the form you know take malay or like chinese or mm. indian or like others mm. we don't have that here 
Oh, enggak ada ya? It can be used for good and also for bad also. Mm-hmm. Maybe making classes and putting people into pigeon holes, yeah. in boxes, sort of create the division all in mm-hmm. itself. Yes, Some yes, of the yes. reasons why they have those boxes are so that they can divide equally the acceptance for certain things. Let's say it's for college application. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want yeah. it to be a certain percentage of a certain race. So if they yeah, want it to be yeah. equal, It's like 30%, 30%, 30%, mm-hmm. right? And then like 10% for others. Benar, benar, benar. But they would probably try to make it proportionate to the population of the country. So yep. if it's like 60% Malays in the country, mm-hmm. they will try to make sure the university is 60% Malays mm-hmm. get accepted or something. Because only then it's the same amount of people per percentage get the right opportunity. It's mm-hmm. usually like that. But it depends on how, what the intention is of the person who uses those boxes. Personally, I don't know if having those boxes are a good thing because it does create division yep, yep. and it does create selectivism mm-hmm. yeah. and trying to trying to make selective decisions in like based off your race kind of defeats the purpose of merit and mm-hmm. also uh, things that are more definitive like betul, betul. gender. Of course, gender you need to also take account for because you don't want to overpopulate or give too much to just the male side or just the yeah. women side you want it to be equal or mm. maybe to those who don't have enough Yeah, how about mixing? Itu dia guys. Uh, saya agak terkejut tu apabila Sally cakap di dalam kadang-kadang kalau kalau dalam pengisian borang eh borang apa-apa saja borang kalau kalau di Malaysia seperti kata uh, Izat tadi memang benar ya guys ada ada pilihan ras ada India kamu apa kamu Melayu India uh, kamu lain-lain lain-lain itu mungkin uh, Dayak Kadazan uh, Dusun dan sebagainya. Memang ada perlu diisi dan jadi tadi mungkin itu uh, culture shock bagi Sally Gau karena di Indonesia nggak ada ya nggak ada pilihan uh, ras-ras begitu jadi benar memang benar di Indonesia tidak membeda-bedakan ras tetapi di Malaysia uh, benda itu ada ada signifikan dia ada signifikan dia karena seperti kata Iza tadi untuk untuk kita uh, mensamaratakan jumlah Uh, berapa pelajar India berapa pelajar daripada uh, Chinese, berapa pelajar daripada uh, Borneo okay. jadi disamaratakan supaya uh, berlaku uh, sama rata jumlahnya pelajar yang ada di di kuliah itu, di di, di universiti ataupun college, itu adalah kegunaan dia guys, uh, tetapi mungkin pada masa yang sama dia menimbulkan uh, persepsi negatif, seperti uh, Orang luar seperti Sally, seperti warga Indonesia mengatakan, eh, kenapa perlu ada perbedaan rasa di dalam borang-borang pengisian di untuk kemasukan uh, kuliah ya? Uh, itu mungkin menimbulkan persepsi uh, yang tidak baiklah uh, buat negara Malaysia, guys. Let's say you're a mix of Malay and Chinese, then which box would you take others? I think it depends on the person most of the time, and yeah. also if the parents how they want their kids to identify themselves as. Good But question. Most of the time, when they marry into a Malay family, they usually become Gus. Malay. Yep. So, it, instantly, they are uh, counted as Bumi Putra. So, mm-hmm. they now have indigenous rights uh, and things like that. So, if you are Chinese and you marry into a Malay, your kids will now be Bumi Putra. What and are the indigenous rights you told me about just now? Indigenous rights, uh, a long time ago in the... Uh, maybe in like the 50s and 60s it was mm-hmm. more prominent because at the time the during the British colonial rule they had divided us based on our yes, uh, yes, so yes. the Malays would have a certain industry China yes. would have one industry and the Indians would have one industry so yeah. when they left us we were still divided we lived separately we had different industries our yeah. companies were different so how would you care for the people who were who lived in their lands or let's say the, the Malays because they were the indigenous people how do you make sure that they prosper as well so they created policies so that these indigenous people would also strive so they created policies that provided cheaper housing mm-hmm. cheaper land mm-hmm. to purchase for Malays only cheaper education and fast forward like 50 40 years later suddenly now you have Malays who are very wealthy, very rich. But if you go back to the 50s, there weren't that many. Yeah. Um, I think it would be the same for like the Indian population as well because yeah. the Chinese 
population would control a lot of the businesses, even back in the 50s and 60s. So development-wise, it was not as difficult for them to put their kids into school. But for a lot of uh, Malays and Indians, it was harder. So they had to have certain policies to allow them how to have property ownership, school education, access. I see. I've actually heard about this before, but not as still low. So thank you so much for explaining this. <sighs> yeah, now I kind of know from like both, like not both, from like more perspectives, you know? I feel like it's quite polarizing the opinions here in the country. There are many Malaysians, let's just call it like that. So mm. it's, it's easy to fall into one sort of dialogue and one sort of side. What's best to do is to have friends from all different races. Yeah, I would Have grow a bigger perspective. Mm. Mm. Now, Malays are, some of them are doing very well, but some of them are still doing very bad. Same as other races as well. I'm not saying that all Chinese population in Malaysia were doing really well. But the opportunity or the access into work are uh, in the bigger, more lucrative industries were more accessible compared to yeah. Malays who all they did was um, farming for their families, where mm-hmm. Chinese population handled the mining, which was more lucrative. I see. What do you think about now? Like, do you think they have more advantage now? Like, since they still can speak Chinese or like they know more languages or what? Do you think it is like an advantage in a sense now? You mean Malays or Chinese? Or Chinese now. Chinese and Malaysia. Yeah, you guys have, uh, what is it called? Uh, SJKC. Mm-hmm. What is it called? Oh, vernacular that. School. Yeah, Vernacular School. Yeah, yeah, Vernacular School, right. Yeah, that was like something very new to me when I first came. What is that? <laughs> we don't have yeah. it. Yeah, well, what do you think about that? My personal opinion is I don't understand the need mm-hmm. uh, for Vernacular School. It's not like... Uh, in those schools, they are completely preserving the traditions of the Chinese people. Vernacular schools in Malaysia are almost like private schools. They've been given a special syllabus or a special sort of curriculum <coughs> for the students. That's why a lot of Malays nowadays, they send their kids to vernacular Chinese schools yeah, so that they receive a more comprehensive education. The education system in the vernacular schools are much better and they teach their students very well. They pay attention to them as well. The only issue with that is that the name implies that there is a need to preserve Chinese-ness or mm-hmm. the traditions of Chinese people, Betul. which I don't really understand because if you want to be Malaysian or how Indonesians are like, if you want to be completely Indonesian, you don't make differences, you don't make separations. Okay, so do you guys have private schools that are non-Chinese related or like Indian related? Like maybe using Bahasa Melayu? I'm not sure about private schools for Indians, but I do know in Malaysia they did create to sort of counter or to boost the Malay population so that they can quote unquote catch up with the education system. Mm -hmm. They made certain boarding schools by the government. Now these schools weren't necessarily better, they were just a school to make the kids live on campus and then Mm -hmm. they can go to school easier. Because oh. Malays used to have issues traveling to school, you know, they had to help their parents work and all that. So then they created boarding schools. And then they created colleges like UITM. Yes, yes. Which is certain universities where it is just for Bumi Putra people. Yes, for yes. People. But that's still funded by the government, right? So it's not a private school. Yes, UITM is University Technology Mara is actually a government funded institution. Hmm, so means there is no private school that use Bahasa Melayu? No, I wouldn't call it private. Nothing that's been funded by an individual or a certain entity is always just been from the government. Hmm, so your private school consists of like the medium in Chinese and in English only, or how? Uh, Chinese and English? Yeah, I mean, let's say international school, mm-hmm. private school as well, right? The Chinese school? Is it also considered private? No, They're no, not no, no. They're private, no. But oh. they are like private schools a lot of times. From what I understand, mm-hmm. the amount of freedom that they receive and how they want to carry their school and their education is different from the SMK. SMK is Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan, mm-hmm. which is national school. 
Mm, okay. Do you know how the school system is like here in my country? No, I don't know. Okay. Because we have private schools and also government schools, right? Mm -hmm. Public. And also international schools. So mostly only three, but the, the two, like the not international schools, we still use Bahasa, Indonesia. Wow. Yeah. Unless, oh yeah, I, let's say I go to like this international school, then mm -hmm. obviously people will already think you, you will converse in English, like wow. the medium of at least like the book and everything. Yeah, it will be in English. But in the society, mm -hmm. we still have to use Indonesian outside. Maybe in school only. Yeah. Oh my god. Full English. Oh, I see. Interesting. What are the government schools like? It's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And normally in class, it consists of more students. All right. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, most people that can afford more, they would. But it depends. I can also say they would choose private schools because some, if they want to go to like public uni, like very good public uni mm -hmm. here, they would sometimes choose to go to like top government schools. Top government. Top public schools. Yeah. Uh, what else do you know or like notice about Indonesians that are different from Malaysians in general? Wow. Uh, rupanya uh, video ini agak panjang uh, tetapi uh, dan banyak hal dibincangkan di dalam satu video ini uh, di antara Sally dan juga Izzat tadi uh, berkenaan dengan perbezaan sekolah uh, sekolah vernacular yang ada di Malaysia dan sekolah yang ada di Indonesia dan tadi saya lihat uh, Sally pun uh, walaupun uh, saya rasa di sana dia lebih menggunakan bahasa Indonesia tetapi tetap um, berbahasa Inggeris dengan bagus kai berbahasa Inggeris tapi Bila saya tutup mata kan Bila dia berbahasa Inggeris Nah saya merinding ni Bila dia berbahasa Inggeris Saya ingat dia Chinese uh, Di Tionghoa Malaysia guys eh, Saya tidak tahu sama ada Sudah bercampur dengan Tionghoa Yang ada di Kuala Lumpur Jadi Bahasa Inggerisnya juga uh, Kayak gitu ya Tetapi bila dia berbahasa Indonesia Hmm Indonesia nya itu lagi bagus uh, Daripada bahasa Inggeris itu guys Ok guys Itu dia perbezaan yang Anda dapat lihatkan Perbualan antara dua rakan Yang pernah bertemu Sama kuliah Antara Malaysia dan juga Indonesia uh, Pertubungan budaya Walaupun uh, Kita ini uh, Tertangga ya Tetapi banyak perbezaan Di dalam uh, Kehidupan harian uh, Persekolahan Bahasa Ok guys Itu dia Video menaik daripada uh, Sally Gao Jika anda minat Dan juga uh, Tertarik dengan video Yang telah pun di, Dibuat oleh Sally Gao Ini pastikan anda Tekan like Comment dan subscribe dan jika anda suka dengan reaction saya guys tekan butang subscribe dan follow saya Assalamualaikum bye bye